Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a custom domain within your Thrivecart account. So this way, all your Thrivecart pages have a nice clean domain and they don't say Thrivecart in them. So for example, my default link right here says cemllc.thrivecart.com. And maybe I don't want it to say thrivecart.com. I want it to say, you know, crazymarketing.com as that's my website. So this video will show you how to change your domain so you can have your domain here instead of thrivecart.com. So here we are inside of Thrivecart and we want to go to the menu and settings and go click into account wide settings. And we want to scroll on down here to CNAME. So we're going to go ahead and select cut custom domain name right here and then we can select the option to set up my custom domain and it gives us a little walkthrough of how to do it but you're watching this video so I'm gonna go ahead and skip their video because I'm doing the same thing that this video basically says we'll go ahead and click on next and it gives us some instructions right here so we would go ahead and set up a subdomain and their example that they're using is sales.yourdomain.com so they have sales written in here but I'm gonna go ahead and do TC for Thrivecart and then it's dot and then it'd be crazyimarketing.com. I'll go ahead and click on next. And they have some instructions right here on how to go ahead and create a CNAME record for your domain. And they have a few templates. So they have Cloudflare, cPanel, cPanel old version or generic other. Now I'm personally using Cloudflare. However, the concept remains the same no matter how you're doing it. Basically you need to go where you can edit your DNS settings for your domain and you're going to create a C name with the information that they give you. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and select generic or other right here, and it really cleans up the instructions. So log in to your DNS provider, so wherever your domain name servers are managed, then navigate to your domain names DNS settings area, add a new record with the following values. So we need to make sure that's a C name. So here I am in Cloudflare and I need to come up here and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new record and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's a C name. So we'll do C name. And then I have to do the name. In this case, I'm doing TC for Thrivecart. And then the target, let's come back over here. And it's alias.thrivecart.com. So I'll we'll go ahead and click that. Select this option right here. And I actually want to go ahead and turn off the proxy status because that causes some catching errors. So I'm going to turn that one off so that it's DNS only. And then we have the TTL and it says between 300 and 3600. So let's come over here. It says auto right there, but let's go ahead and do five minutes because that is 300. So then I'll go ahead and click on save right there. And now my C name has been created. So let's come back over to Thrivecart and we'll go ahead and click on confirm my custom domain. Now this can take upwards of 24 hours to process. So if it doesn't happen right away, don't worry about it, but we'll click this button anyway. And it says final step, wait for your DNS changes to propagate. So your custom domain has been saved successfully. You now need to wait some time while the DNS changes propagates, this can take 24 to 48 hours. Usually in my experience, it's within a couple minutes. However, I have seen it take upwards of a day, but usually it's much faster, like I was just saying. So when you come back to this page, you will see a button to test your domain and see if it is ready to be used. Now, if you wish, you may enter a URL below to redirect visitors to who go directly to your subdomain without accessing a sales page. So some people might go to tc.crazyoutmarketing.com and nothing will be there. So I might as well forward them to my main website site so I'll do that right there https www.crazyoutmarketing.com and that's what people will be sent to if they go to tc.crazyoutmarketing.com and I'll click on save and continue now just for the sake of example I'm going to click on verify my domain and my custom domain is activated so there we go ready to go now if I decide to change my mind I could go ahead and remove my custom domain but let's come over to products real quick and I'm going to go ahead and click on get URL right here and I can see that it's updated to where it says https tc.crazyoutmarketing.com marketing.com my amazing product so it's no longer using the Thrivecart domain name so let's copy that address I'll open an incognito window and go to that address and it should take me to my product sales page which it has and you can see up here in the address bar it still says tc.crazyoutmarketing.com my amazing product and now I'm using my domain instead of Thrivecart's domain and just for fun, let's go to tc.crazyoutmarketing.com and it should forward me to crazyoutmarketing.com. So let's go to this. And we can see that it brought me to crazyoutmarketing.com. So it looks like everything is working. And I now have a custom domain set up on my Thrivecart account. And that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate it. Sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyoutmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.